Hello there, it's Karen here from craftylittlemisscay.co.uk and today I'm going to be using a new stamp set that is available in the new catalogue that uh, goes live on the 1st of June. Um, I've already made this one as a little sample and it's a two-part stamp. Uh, if I show you the stamp and I'll explain why it's two parts. So this is the stamp set, it's called Hand Delivered. Can you see all of that? Yes, you can. Um, so yes, it's a two-part stamp because there is half a body, okay, and then there's a skirt and a skirt there. Um, I had to have this explained to me because I'm saying, well, where's the rest of the body? Um, and it's quite simple, really, if anybody's not sure. I'm, I'm sure I'm probably the only dumb person in the country. Um, because you hide the upper body, you can just about make out her body there, look, with balloons or a sign or a big cake or a bunch of, that could either be presents or books because there's a little apple on top, so you could use it for a thank you for a, um, a teacher at the end of, ter of term. There's a little thank you there. Nice little sentiments there as well. I'm going to be using a sentiment from a different set, but I'm going to be making uh, using this one and this one and using the thank you. Okay, so I'm going to be making a thank you card today. Um, if you'd like to know more about this, because it's actually a host set, so if you'd like to know more about this, do let me know and I'll um, explain it all to you. I want to keep this video short because I'm supposed to be going out very soon, but I wanted to do this before I left. Anyway, so here we go. So like I said, this one was a birthday set, a birthday card rather, um, but I'm going to be making a thank you now. So I'm going to be using my Stamparatus, and um, mainly because I like the fact that if I don't get it exactly right first time, I can go back and redo um, the stamping to make sure it's perfect. So I'm going to use the stamp set just to help support the lid there, and I will use another stamp set which I've got handy. Um, the dragonfly one on this one over here, but I'm not going to be stamping that one just yet. I'm going to be working on this part first of all, so the girl skirt. So I've got a piece of card in here. All the measurements will be on my blog if you want to um, have a go yourself. And so I'm just going to ink up the, the bottom part of the body. Just seeing how much you can see. You can't actually see. Let's move it over a little bit. So unfortunately I've got her right off the camera there, but you can just about see me inking something up anyway. So here we go, so just a very gentle press, Oops, see what I mean, See now if I'd have done that with just a, a, um, a block there's no way I'd have got that back again, just need to press a little bit harder obviously. I've got the magnet quite close, that could be the reason, let's just move the magnet, okay let's try that again, there we go, okay so that's her done, so let me just give that a little wipe off so I can put her straight back in the case afterwards, okay. So, um, yes, when you're using the polymer um, stamps on this Stamparatus, you use the um, little sponge plate that comes with it. If I just pull this out of the way, you use this little sponge support there because they're not, they're not, um, got, they haven't got any foam to support them and they need a little bit of cushioning. But if you're using the red rubber stamps, and obviously you would have to take this one out, otherwise it would just be too high. So now I'm going to do, I can finish with her for the minute. Now I'm going to get a piece of scrap, which I've got off to one side, and I'm just going to pop it. I'm using the line where it changes from white to grey on this piece of scrap paper. I'm just not using that to um, position everything, because I've got the frame already there. In fact, that's upside down. I'll have to make sure I have to change that. Little hands go a certain way. That's better. Otherwise you'd be holding the sign kind of like down like the way, so holding it like that. Anyway, so there we go. Glad I noticed that. And um, I'll be cutting this out, so it doesn't matter if it's not exactly straight. So again, using Memento Black Ink. Just going to bring that down and just press. And there we go. There's her, that's right, isn't it holding that way? Yes. So there's her sign. And let's just give that a little dab dry. And then let's swap that over for the thank you. Now I'm going to position the thank you actually on the card where I want it. That's quite nice. That's roughly in the middle. Bring down the plate and pick it up. Ink up again. And then there we go. That's that part done. So I'm going to leave that to dry for a second. And while I put this away, because I'm done with this now. Okay, let's pull those off. Pull those off. I'll 
I'll put all those away properly in a moment. They're just stuck to the top of the case. The reason I've got this case out is because I'm going to be using one of those stamps in there as well. So I can pop this away now. You can't actually store it with both um, hinged plates on there. Otherwise it would break the top hinge. So I'm just going to put that back in its place. It's out of the way. Okay, so let's bring our little card front back. And I don't need my black ink anymore. So that can go Okay, actually I do, but I'll need it. I'll need it afterwards. Right, so we're going to colour her in. I'm going to give her a little green skirt today, I think. Um, so with the because I've used the memento, it won't react. It won't bleed because these are alcohol pens. Yeah, they're wonderful because you've got all these awful lines when you're colouring with felt tips normally but they all blend in together. So I'm just going to give a little bit of shadow there just to emphasize that little bit of a pleat there and color in her waistband as well. That's it. And then we're going to give her, I was going to give her red shoes, but I think I'm actually using, yeah, that's cherry cobbler. I'm actually using rich raspberry as a mat. So I think I'll, I'll swap it over and use the rich raspberry for his shoes as well so she kind of toned in with the card a bit better so with the fine tip end this time because it's only a small area okay and one thing I forgot to do was to do her legs because there is an ivory pen to give the skin a little bit of colour sorry about all the snapping and the rattling um, so there we go. She's obviously been out in the sun a little while because my legs don't look that colour. There we are. Let's put that lid back on. Okay, so they're done with. So, leave her to dry for a second. Bring the sign back. Come in again with the ivory, this time with the fine tip just to do her little fingers there and a little pinky that's sticking out I've just noticed that how cute and that's all I'm going to do with that one so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut that out I'm just going to pause the film just for a second while I do this because you don't really need to see me cutting out okay so hopefully it's running again now yes it is okay so yes I'm back so I've done that so what I'm going to do now is bring in the card. I've just got an A4 sheet of card and I've just cut it lengthways in half, which is like four and an eighth, I think, in inches. Um, and then just scored it in the middle to create the tent fold. And I'm going to mat it up with the rich raspberry, like I mentioned, and then she'll be on top. And then that's going to be put on. So and I might even put it as a jaunty angle as well. So let's get that all done. And I'm going to be using wet glue. You can use any adhesive here. You could use your snail. Or if you've got any fast fuse, you could use that. But I like the wet glue because I'm never good at getting my borders exactly even. So I like that little extra bit of wiggle time to do that. So here we go. press to make sure it's all down. Lovely. And then let's pop her on. As you can see when you're using the uh, blender pens, the uh, sorry the stamping blends, they do tend to bleed through. Um, so always use a some kind of mat underneath. Don't use it on your best dining room table or whatever. See what I mean by the uh, extra wiggle. So that's that. Again, a little press down, squish all that glue out. That's it. Now my uh, dimensionals, which I forgot to get out. So I'm just going to 
rather generous and put four on. I could have used the mini ones, couldn't I? Never mind. Okay. I love this stamp set. I've only had it for a couple of days and I've used it a couple of times already. So Okay, so we're going to give it a bit, a bit of a, a jaunty angle, I think, like that. There we are. So that's the front done. And then inside, because I'm using the thick card, I don't need an extra weight in here. I'm just going to go straight onto the, the card there. And I'm using the Dragonfly Dreams stamp set. And I'm going to be using the sentiment that says, thanks for smile and everything else. Because this is going for somebody, to somebody who has helped me a lot just lately. And I just want to say thank you. So, and I'm going to use a block this time rather than the Stamparatus. So let's bring back my ink. Make sure this is perfect first time as I'm not uh, going to be able to do it again. Okay, so roughly in the middle, just press down, just hold for a second, don't rock it, and there we are. Okay, so that's all done. So nice quick card. What has this taken? 11 minutes. Okay, maybe 15 including the cutting. So just give that time to dry. So there we are. I've got my little birthday um, card back in as well. Uh, this is going to my aunt actually, it's her birthday soon so she can have that one. Um, I did do another thank you card yesterday and this time I used a piece of um, designer series paper and cut it out, stamped onto it and cut that out and then just layered it up onto levels layers but I wanted to do just a plain one for the uh, person it's going to today. I might just blend out those little um, marks on her skirt a bit more as well before I go just to make sure it's all nice and even. There we go, that's better. I just darken that down a bit, bit like that for the for the sign. There we go. That'll dry off. That'll blend in beautifully. There we are. So um, thanks for watching. Very quick one today. Um, oh, when I was colouring this one in to create the little shine on the um, balloons, I just used a white gel pen just to give a little bit so the light is shining down on this way. So there we are, two quick cards and very easily made using the new um, Hostess set. Just pull all the stickers off the front. Um, yeah, so this is lovely. So I'm going to use this a lot this year, I think. So again, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen and you'd like to see a few more of my little projects, um, please do hit subscribe and um, let me know if you're interested in, in joining Stampin' Up! or getting any, any um, supplies. I will tell you how. But in the meantime, enjoy your day and see you again soon. Bye for now.